Fuck. I'll do the stock power on it. So, <laughs> we can start with me. Yeah, I hear. Good day. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, so hi, I'm Ken Hunt from Down Under in New Zealand. You all know where that is, right? Down Under. So I got here today a 1965 Corvette Stingray that I've been working on for a little while now. Um, yeah, I've upgraded it to a Grand Sport sort of look-alike with my own theme. It's not quite finished, but uh, so far we've got uh, vet brakes and products, uh, steer, uh, suspension in here, and power steering. Um, we've got about a 480 horse, 383 custom made headers, all the fiberglass work has been completely rebuilt, um, these unbolt here, it will take a 6 speed uh, T56, so I'm probably, I have had a T56 in it, I prefer the Muncie, because it changes the sound of the car quite a lot, uh, but anyway that will come out, all this fiberglass has been completely rebuilt, the chassis has been off, I've got a couple of rear ends, I've got a 411 and a 336, currently got the 336 in there. I did put the 411 in there with the 6 speed, um, but I didn't really like it, so I've gone back to the uh, 336 at the moment. Um, in the back here, I've cut off the back of the chassis here. There's going to be a couple of plates go on here, so that the chassis rail can still go back on reason I did that is because when I want to take the body off, this roll pan here catches the back of the chassis. So this will be a bolt-on, bolt-off uh, rear chassis member. It only, it only goes back maybe a foot or so, uh, 12 inches. Um, the chassis member is over here. This is the chassis member. So it's going to have a couple of plates on there. A couple of plates welded on there and the bolts will go in through there. So that's the rear rear of the chassis member. I'll just take it down from the hoist. It's got a rear leaf spring in here. Um, everything's rebuilt so far. I'll just get it down from the hoist. The body has been completely reshaped <coughs> to the Grand Sport theme in 19. 63 they did a Grand Sport. I only built uh, five of them for racing, General Motors for racing against the uh, the Shelby and then um, they pulled out of racing so the five were built sort of under wraps. Uh, as you can see this body's gone a total, total rebuild. Everything's custom on it. It's got the custom door handles in it. Um, we'll have the custom, custom filler there. This is a custom uh, brake intake, and I've got uh, some um, stainless steel covers, which I've had made up for it, which uh, go in like this. See, that's my own design. That's the stainless steel cover. And of course, there's one on the other side. These are all made handmade stainless steel, polished. Beautifully done, a real work of art. Um, in here, this isn't finished yet, but I've got a big 112 litre tank that goes in here. This has just got a cover on it at the moment. This will be clear perspex. I've had all this made. Uh, we made up a, um, a dummy over there, you can see in the back corner, a dummy, uh, a dummy uh, plate so that we could fold this sheet up. This is made out of the... Uh, the fireproof, uh, I don't know, polycarbonate is what it is, yeah. Then in the back here we've rebuilt a new boot in here. Uh, so this is just work in progress. I've got hinges that go on here. Um, so in the back here, <coughs> that's, uh, that's a stainless steel battery that I've put in the back. This has all been completely rebuilt by hand. Um, so these pieces will come out, these are all made by hand, all these pieces here that's like a uh, rear tail light cover for the inside, a number plate cover and another one there. It will have, this, this connects up, 
and will be a, uh, a pop-up loaded spring so when you pull this from in here you just pull the handle and the, the boot releases and it pops up so that's that's the uh, that's the rear boot assembly of course it's all has the uh, if you look at the back here uh, it's got the three tail lights with the vents like they, they used to have um, I've put in this grill here, which is sort of like a shark grill. They normally just had a, a hole there, but if you come around here, you can see that it's actually got like a shark's grill in it. It actually curves around. So that's a grill that I've put in. That's my own design. Um, of course, if we come over here, you can see a couple of details. I've uh, made up these, uh, had these made up by an engineer friend of mine. He's not here anymore. He's fell overboard on the yacht and died, so unfortunately that's uh, a very unfortunate thing, but uh, these are all made out of, uh, this is polished aluminium, I designed all this on uh, on the Apple Macintosh, I used to be a designer, this here is all, I've redone the logo, the Grand Sport, that's etched in, acid etched, these are all handmade with hand burrs on them, and then I've had it all uh, um, dipped, this is sort of like a semi, a semi chrome, called a brush chrome. So yeah, I've got, got a couple of those. There's another one there at the back for the other side. So um, then I've had other parts made up uh, for uh, for the hoods. I've had a whole lot of um, stainless steel work done. For like the hoods this is the left and right side of one of the hoods that I've got on this is for the Daytona hood um, I've got a grill here which I've had made up again all to my own design this is the grill that goes in the front of the car this is all stainless steel work beautifully done by precision stainless here in Auckland and this will go around the front here and goes uh, it's in there beautifully this is the Grand Sport front but then we've uh, we've redone it to our own design uh, these headlights pop up uh, and I'll show you I've got a, uh, got a couple of grills here the, the headlight covers these, are, these have been made up, these are more of an aggressive style bit like cover. See it's got an eyebrow on it. On the normal ones they didn't have the eyebrow. Um, they, they didn't have that. But that's been designed and made so that when these pop down, in actual fact when these pop down they go on to this bit of fiberglass that we've built here. So that goes in and tucks in there. See, so that all beautifully works. I'll put the other side on just so you get a bit of an idea. I think that goes on there like that. So there you can see the eyebrows that actually come out. Normally they come back in here somewhere, they're just sort of straight up. So that's our own design. We've designed that. Um, there's just the, uh, nothing, nothing out of the blue really. It's just the 383. Um, with headers, you can see the headers on the side here, these have been custom made. It's got the A-arm suspension in, so we got rid of the uh, we got rid of the coils. Um, we've made an air dam to go in here, this is all made out of fiberglass. The, the um, radiator's been custom made. Um, but that engine's coming out and I'm going to put a 700 horsepower nitrous engine in. And I've had the fuel tank made up. This is the fuel tank that I've made up here, which goes in the rear of the car. This is 112 litres. So this is all going to be polished and go behind that um, behind that clear uh, glass that we had. This is just a little design feature here. This will go in. This is stainless steel. That will go behind there just to hide the weld. That will go in there. That's just stuck on with tape at the moment. It's got the Grand Sport cut out. So that'll be a polished tank as a bit of a showpiece. And again, that goes in behind this designed 
piece that we've got in here, um, which will be clear. Um, we've got a roll bar that we've made over here. Roll cage, roll bar, I guess you could call it a roll bar. I've had that made so that that'll be for the seat belts. Um, so I'm going to weld. That's the rear of the car, this is the front. So I'm going to have like a little tag or something weld in here so that you can actually have the seat belts in because the coupes have just got the fiberglass top body. Um, that's about it really. Um, there's a lot of extra work that I've had done. I'll show you the three bonnets that I've got for it. Um, again, more custom stainless work that does go in there. I've got the standard 67 bonnet. Now these bonnets have all had to be re fiberglassed We've had to cut them here and here and here. They're reshaped. They're not the normal standard shape because we've redesigned the whole front of the car. If you look at the front of the of the car there, you can see that it's got the flares, everything, it's all reshaped. So because of this curvature in here, we've had to cut the bonnet accordingly and heat it up. I had a guy working on it that's uh, worked on all the America's Cup boats, so it's not it's easy to just say, oh yeah, it looks easy, but there's, uh, there's a huge amount of work that's got in this fiberglass, believe me, there's just hundreds and hundreds of hours. In here I've got these, um, these are off a yacht, They're, um, you can adjust these up and down, I've had all these welded and they go onto the chassis, so if I want to lift, if, if it's not quite right and I want to lift it up a millimetre or two, I just, I just tune this up a little bit and of course that helps the um, that strengthens the front end and it's really rigid so uh, because in these cars the fiberglass they tend to flex up and down and the headlights and that so I've had all these made up again another engineering feat um, all redone getting back to the bonnet this one here this bonnet here um, is the um, let me see that's the Daytona one there and this is just the Grand Sport one with the two grills in but I've got three bonnets so we can we can pick out a bonnet for the day if we want to go racing or whatever have you so yeah Ken Hunt reporting on the uh, 1965 Corvette Grand Sport got all the parts uh, just got to get A in the G and finish it I guess okay <laughs> Ken Hunt from Down Under see you later bye <laughs> Do you think it was alright? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Sort of just showing a bit around the garage and that and yeah. what we're doing.